So my name is Bule Daukubong. I'm the chair and president of the Didao Collection, which is a family collection of art predominantly created for, by artists across the continent. Ooh, so I would say I accidentally started collecting from 2007, just when friends were collecting art and some friends introduced me to art in 2007. And then in 2010, 2011, I started traveling the continent a lot more, predominantly for my work where I'm investing in tech startups across the continent. And often the tech entrepreneurs would be in spaces that also have artists, visual artists, and I got to know artists across the continent and then really started consciously collecting, yeah, 2010, 2011, which was fun. It's been a, it's been a journey. I've learned a lot. I've met some amazing people through art, but most importantly, it's been great working and collecting art by the artists. I mean, it's for a couple of reasons. One, the spaces, when I mean spaces, I mean museums and many public spaces do not have enough representation by artists done by black artists. So one of the primary drivers for us as a family as we collect art is to collect art done by black artists so that we can get them into institutions that have represented them as much. I think a lot of black artists are voice of what's happening in today's world. And it's good to hear it directly, as they say, to hear it from the lion's mouth rather than the hunter's mouth. Oh, when we see us, I mean, hey, I like the name because when we see us, I made it very personal as well, where, you know, there's art that I see myself and I'm looking at the piece just over there by Katlejo, um, which is Upper East Side. And that piece really hits home for me because it represents when P. Diddy bought the Kerry James Marshall piece entitled Past Times. I think that was 2018 or 2019. And I remember being in New York at the time, got to go to Sotheby's and see that art piece. And I think the fact that you had a black collector buying an artwork done by a living black artist gets so much attention. Media coverage was such an important moment. And to be part of it, you know, I'd been living in the US myself as well, used to walk those roads. So it was a very historic moment when that happened. And I often see myself in that chair that Katlejo so accurately depicted, taking in that moment of this is a historic moment. And I hope we see many moments like that from art done by black artists. Love that piece. There's the, the cons conversation by Zandile Shabalala. And it's, it's, it's like, there's, what I like about that piece, it has a figurative piece of her sitting in a chair. And then there's kind of a silhouette image of herself in the garden. And it's often a moment where we have these reflective conversations with ourselves of where we are, where we're going, but also recognizing where we've come from. And I think what she's done as an artist with that piece also really resonates with conversations I have with myself as I reflect on art, collecting, life in general. So I think, you know, those are some of the pieces. Um, Tinga's work was just you know, from a texture perspective, captures so much. His pieces are both untitled, but as you look at them, you know, for me, they bring a lot of black luxury texture, living life, capturing exciting moments as we're doing them. A lot of the collection that's here is, for me, about black people doing beautiful black things. So the works that I selected to be part of the show often resonate that and resemble that. Artists are historians um, in many ways and amongst many things, but I think it is important to have these moments captured by us at this time. And I think what Zaitz has done 
has been incredible because as you look at all the wonderful creations that have been done here, they've been done by black artists. They're giving black people a voice in a moment that's been captured, you know, for hundreds and hundreds of years going forward. So very important conversation to have, very important to highlight globally what is happening and being created by black artists. And it's, again, an honor to be part of it in a very small way. It's, it's kind of goosebump moments because it really sits well with many of the reasons of why we collect as a family. I mean, for us, we collect a lot of art to inspire. And so a large amount of our collection sits in entrepreneurs' offices across the continent. So you'll find our art in Yoko's offices here in Cape Town. You'll find them in Flutterwave's offices in Nigeria. And these are tech entrepreneurs building the next category defining businesses for this continent who then have this art around them on their walls inspiring them daily it inspires us as a family i also think you know as collectors or more importantly custodians it's also up to us to share the work so to be able to share it on a platform like zeitz has been a, a great honor. So it, it, it really gives me goosebumps. It really aligns well with our mission as a family. So yeah, very, very great honor. One hundred percent. I mean, one of the reasons that we started collecting is the little black created art we used to see in public spaces was often of us as black people suffering, going through hectic experiences, and not to say we still don't experience that today, but we've been really focused on black joy. Black people doing beautiful things across different, to the, you know, what you named as the sectors from sensuality to opulence, and I think that has been captured A, well, by this experience and it's, it again lines up really, really well with our mission as a family.